So as you were speaking, Carrie, I was reflecting on the importance of trust in any relationship, in a marriage relationship, in a friendship, and especially in a relationship with God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. And it was reminding me of in section uh, 11 of the Doctrine and Covenants when the Lord teaches us the importance of trust. In verse 12, it says, Now verily, verily, I say unto thee, put your trust in that spirit which leadeth to do good, yea, to do justly, to walk humbly, to judge righteously, and this is my spirit. And we need this more now than any other time in the history of the world, I, I believe, because there are so many voices. But if we can have that trust that he is speaking to us, right? Because so many times we may feel impressions and things throughout our day that we deflect or we question. And if trust is in that relationship, then we can acknowledge that those feelings and thoughts are from the Lord and rely on them mm -hmm. and do them. And, and if they're leading us to do good, to go forward and to act on them and not question whether that was a prompting or not. And then in our, in our home and in our family, it's so important to teach our children how to recognize that, that feeling and, and have that trust. It takes practice. There's a wrestle sometimes with the spirit that we need to go through, but the more we can acknowledge it, that trust grows. And it's not like the, the voice is getting any louder. It's just that we're improving in our ability to understand his promptings and, and the Holy Ghost in our own lives.